What's good, YTBC? What's good, Fight Fans? B Marsh here with another boxing video. So we got um the HBO card coming up tonight. This is my prediction video for GGG. Gennady Golovkin versus Dominique Wade. Triple G's um, 34 and 0 with 31 KOs. Dominique Wade is 18 and 0 with 12 KOs. Now, Dominique Wade is the IBF mandatory. That's why Triple G's fighting this fight. It's not a fight that fight fans wanted. I don't know too many of Triple G fans who really wanted this fight, but let them tell you, you know, they'll tell you Dominique Wade is a killer and he's a good opponent and he's a good name on Triple G's resume. That's what they'll say, but um, me personally, I don't think this is a step back for me as far as um, Triple G's resume and this competition as far as going forward with his career. He wants to be the undisputed champ at middleweight. And Dominique Wade, let's be real, is a guy. It's a guy who's never had a 12-round fight in his career. Most of his fights are eight-rounders, a couple six-rounders in there. Maybe a few ten-rounders, you know what I'm saying? And um, he ain't never been in there with a the, with the wolf like Triple G, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, on the real, I don't have this fight going too long. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there ain't really too much to talk about on the real. This is a mismatch, in my opinion. Just like Triple G's last card when he fought um David Lemieux. That was another mismatch. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is a prediction video, and there ain't really too much to say. Triple G will get this guy out of there. I think Dominique Wade's going to try and move a lot, going to try and box, going to try to use, use his, his his feet and his movement. But um, I think he's going to get slowed down once Triple G starts attacking that body, cutting off the ring. And once he lands them body shots, I don't think um, dude's going to be on his bicycle as much. He's going to get slowed down. I'm talking about Dominique Wade. He's going to get slowed down and... Sooner than later, going to get caught. I think Willie Monroe went six rounds with, with, with Triple G. And, you know, Willie Monroe is a boxer. I think this guy, Dominique Wade, going to go, I think, about the same. I think Triple G going to get him out of there. Maybe in about seven, let me say seven, eight, seven rounds. You know what I mean? Maybe less. You, check, you never know. Because we really don't know too much about Dominique Wade. You know what I'm saying? He, his last fight was last year against um, Sam Solomon. You know, and truth be told, Nick, um, what's his name? Dominique Wade ain't really looked too good in that fight. You know, I know Sam, um, Sam Solomon got a got a, um, a herky-jerky style. You know what I'm saying? It's real difficult to look good against him, but... You know, it is what it is. Um, dude ain't look good against the old man. I think he did drop Sam Solomon once. But apart from that, you know, he got the split decision, but it was definitely not nothing to write home about. You know what I'm saying? Um, Triple G's coming off um, unifying his title, getting the IBS strap off David Lemieux. You know what I'm saying? And... Um, he did what he usually does, you know. This fight ain't been on my radar, really. Let's be honest. It's not a fight that I wanted to see. You know, I would like to see Triple G versus Canelo. Or we'll see if that, that if that ever happens, you know what I'm saying. I got a feeling Canoli going to wait for Triple G to, to be like 40 years old before he fight him, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's my prediction video. Ain't too much to really talk about. Triple G versus Dominique Wade. I got Triple G getting him out of there in about seven to eight rounds. Maybe less. You never know. You know, Dominique Wade's talked a good game. I hope he don't. he's not talking a good game like, like Charles Martin and come there and lay down. I really hope not. So we'll see what it do. That's on HBO tonight. Um... Dominique Wade challenging Triple G for all his straps. The WBA World um, Middleweight title and um, the IBF Middleweight title. And he has other titles like IBO and Interim WBC. But I don't really count those. I'm not recognizing those until 
I know he's a two. He's, he's a unified champion with two belts. So yeah, Chum. Let me know what y'all think, man. I know most of y'all are probably on the same wavelength as me. Triple G by knockout. You know what I'm saying? And you know this is a free HBO weekend, so you know they're gonna put um Triple G on this Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Free HBO weekend. They got Beyonce concert, Game of Thrones. A lot of shows coming on on HBO this weekend, and they got Triple G in the mix. So the casual fan could check out the Kazakh monster, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I think that was also, you know, you know what I'm saying? I think that was by design, too, so they could um, have Triple G's viewership numbers look real nice. So HBO could say, yeah, this is our star right here. And, you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of views, a lot of fans. So, yeah, man, let me know what y'all think, man. I know probably y'all got the same, on the same wavelength as me, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, drop your comments if you like this content of this video. Hit that thumbs up and please subscribe, you know what I'm saying, if you like this channel. Alright, y'all, this be Marsh Boxing. Thanks for listening. Give thanks and I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.